Alhamdulillah, uh, Assalamu Rasulullah. I'm very happy to be with you today at the Imdad Foundation in uh, Blackburn. I was very impressed, and I'm still very impressed to see all these certificates from government and from local community, especially on the angle of the domestic program, which I've been doing for the last three years. I'm not only going to celebrate the response to the flooding uh, in UK as an emergency, but respond to the social impact that you are making on the greater society and trying to show everyone that charity starts at home. And you have to start at home. And as I mentioned earlier to you, that connection is protection. When you connect, when you connect with your neighbors, with your church, with your mosque, with your temple, with the social uh, uh, workers, with everybody, with the individuals, with the Muslims and with the Muslims, this protects, this is a great protection for us. And this is a message that we want to carry to the mosques, start with, because I've got nearly 2,000 mosques. And these 2,000 mosques are doing their da'wah inside the mosque. And da'wah is not bayan, it's not a speech, it's not an advice, a mawaiza, it's not a good fairy story by great people who died thousand years ago, or 1400 years ago, or 300 years ago in India and Pakistan. Da'wah is when you help and save your neighbors, no matter who the neighbor is. Without looking at him that you want him to become a Christian, you want him to become a Jew, you want him to become a Muslim. Nothing to do. Okay? Just convey the social message of Islam. The civil message of Islam. Okay? And this will make the impact on us and on them. Because when we feel that we are, we are having a responsibility and the duty to make the da'wah, we help the elderly, we have visit the sick, okay. we build the community, we defend the vulnerable, we protect the young girls and the young boys, okay. and we support anyone and leave the rest to the creator of humanity, not the creator of one sect of humanity, because God is the God of humanity, Allah is the Allah of humanity. So that's what I'm very impressed by what you're doing. And I'm a little bit not very happy with what the mosques are not doing. The mosques are enshrined inside a territory of the boundary of a building. You have to come out to learn the scale of the about learn about the scale of the problem, the social problem of our marriage and divorce in our community. Runaway boys and girls from home. But the girls and boys who do not finish education. Okay? The unemployed who become disenfranchised and they become radical and the extremist. Mosque is not about a story that the Prophet said. It's about the story that you can make. And you are making it. You are really making it. But you are not loudly talking about it. Piety is good. But we don't want at this time and age okay, to tell people who are radicalizing Islam as a religion, making it an extreme religion, or religion teach extremism, or radicalism, or terrorism, not to talk about what we do. We have to tell everybody what we do and have to be very proud of what we do because we are a part of the change makers. Okay. And we are going to change the society, our better society to the good and the better good, not just the good. And with people like yourself, you will be able to make Great Britain greater. Our grandfathers and mothers helped building the empire, the British Empire. We have a share here, not only there. 
and you have to connect to protect as I mentioned earlier. Other point which I want you to do is to invest in research. I'm very happy that you are investing in uh, domestic programs, but research is very important because I've got a lot of problems, whether internally here in UK, in Europe or abroad. But we talk about it without researching it. Any government, okay, or any governmental decision will be based on a research-based evidence. Without having a research-based evidence, you cannot go anywhere. You can go to your prime minister, who could be your friend or your brother or your uncle, tell him change, tell him, give me the evidence, give me the proof, because he's running a cabinet. So to invest in research and advocacy, to invest in empowering the young, which, have, which I am very impressed to see all of you, you are too old for me, because I'm younger than each one of you. Okay? This is the age when, when I started 34 years ago or 33 years ago. Young and youth as well. And this is uh, uh, very important. And invest in your homeland. And your homeland is here. To be able to have the fruits and share the fruits globally. Coming back as an individual, we have to know that actually the real owner of an imdad is the poor who pay the salary and pay the cost of our life. So we have the respect and the value should be given to the people who employ us. So our real employers are the poor. The second point which I mentioned it before, don't let a humanitarian response to be used as a tranquilizer or as a, as a sedative, as a sedative, a sedative, okay, or a sleeping bells, no, it is the beginning, development work is more difficult, social work is more difficult, but the beginning of it is uh, this kind of humanitarian response, let us educate our donors and our community, to donate to the very difficult causes like advocacy, like research, like uh, capacity building of the people, like domestic program, you must say that in the pound I might take 10% or 5% of this in Waqf. Are we investing in Waqf or not yet? You have to have your assets, you have to have your uh, uh, properties, and you have to have your investment. Let us get the right people to build the organization from inside as well. Inside is very important. Without having a stronger structure inside, we'll not be able to build the empire state, which you can actually, everybody can see it. But on that blessed day, Alhamdulillah, which is Jum'ah, like every day of the day of the week is a blessed day by Allah. And I am, uh, what do you call it? I became more, problem that when I become more excited, I'm, I'm the, a man who is always excited. But when you put me more excited, you may have a problem with, uh, with the people who are going to meet me later on. So you empowered me, you made me more enthusiastic and more excited what you have been doing. I'm very happy to see that you have a radio which is outreaching to millions of people in different languages, okay, which is behind me. And I might use this one, 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 one day, because this is the educational. Educational, inshallah. And so, that's, um, so you are looking, you are for, for looking ahead, looking forward, and always build a solid foundation underneath your feet to enable you to stand on a very solid ground, and build the multi-story, multi-dimensional, multi-diverse organization to help the society here and there. But I'm to conclude, I'm very, very happy to see what you have been doing locally. And this should be something be echoed 
in MCF as an organization or other or other organization who their budget may be four or five or six times as big as you your budget. And uh, thank you very much for uh, uh, what, motivating me. I'm trying to find this one. I'm motivated now. See, I came out sleeping, and but now you motivated me. So my God, what my wife will see me when I go back this afternoon? I should be. Oh, you, you, you're, you're not the same man. <laughs> Somebody gave you an injection, maybe, maybe uh, some some uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, what is that? Uh, the drug which I took, tramadol or what? Uh, LSD. <laughs> so you are you are my LSD. <coughs> Jazakum Allah khair. May Allah bless you, inshallah. Amen. Inshallah. It's my duty to come. And they'll be coming again and again and again. Jazakum Allah. Jazakum Allah. Jazakum Allah. Jazakum Allah.